Oh, there's my first, first friend. Come on, come on, a few seconds more. Oh no. Wait, wait, where'd you come from? This was super close. No, this is far too close to for my comfort. Well, here we are, episode number 20. Welcome back, everyone, to Hardcore Series, Hardcore Permadeath. Clover here, and we have quite an adventure ahead of us. I do need to make some preparations ahead of that. If you recall from the last episode, we just managed to get our HP to about 190, so that's gonna make me feel a bit safer. We're gonna have the root harness at all times with us. But besides that, let's save here quickly. So we have a notion of time. Oh, actually, I think we need to sleep first. Yeah, we kind of need to sleep. But like I said, I do need the Drogger Fang bow. I do need to make some preparations. I do need some extra food with me. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and also, I'm going to check that small patch of planes that we have. If it's a small patch of planes with nothing useful, I'm going to look for a larger one. But since it's in the area with where the uh, where the planes spawn, I'm sure that we're going to find more now. I used to have arrows. Oh my goodness. There they are. Okay, I used to have arrows here. So, in other words, I'm going to quickly, quickly craft some because I've done some testing and some of these things are helping. Where are they? Ooze bombs. There. So, ooh, they kind of take a lot of resources there. I might have these for the planes, but now, right now, I just want to go and check that small area of the planes. We're not doing anything. Uh, we're just checking that out where I've spotted the last time. So we're gonna do go and check that out and after that I just wanna see uh goodness. We're gonna grab this <laughs> just in case. And we're gonna go for uh, we're gonna go for the planes. And hopefully I won't get any raid. I should have waited in the base for a raid I guess. Hopefully I don't get any raids right now, because I don't know how I can deal with that. How I can cope with that. Now I'm gonna follow this shoreline, even if it's gonna take me quite a while. We just have to check that out and be back at the base. If it's a small patch, we're gonna we're not gonna bother with it. Okay. Hold on. You, sir. Okay, it's getting, it's getting the treatment. So, <laughs> I honestly, I have to confess, I'm super duper scared of going into the planes. I only have one strategy. A few friends uh, of mine suggested, actually one friend of mine <laughs> suggested on Discord that I try uh, luring the event monsters into the plane monsters so they fight each other that's that's totally a good idea the only risk is uh, i might get hit while doing that i might get uh, damaged badly so that's that's plan number b <laughs> i do have a plan number a and that is create small pockets for me small uh, stone pockets while i am in the planes and with those small pockets, I might actually be able to survive. Because I've tested them out. I'm not so stupid as not to test them out first. And they kind of work. They kind of work against shamans. They kind of work against brutes, against wolves. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have those pockets. I'm going to show you what I mean by those pockets, by small pockets, in a second. Once we get to the meadows, things will be clearer. So basically, I'm just surrounding myself with uh, stone walls. The only danger on those stone walls are the mosquitoes. I think I can dodge roll their attacks. If not, we have the root uh, harness, which 
protects us versus their damage with the spears. We do have also a ton of health points. So we should be fine, in theory. I am super duper scared just because if not for the wolves event, if not for that uh, nagging feeling in your back that you're always in the danger of dying to wolves or getting heavily raided because like I said, the the I mean you you've seen <laughs> or you know by this time that I've I have uh, cranked up all the <laughs> difficulty levels so everything is maxed out. We do have max uh, max raids, max difficulty. No portals, no map, like you said, like you, most of you know. So, uh, at this point, it is what it is. So, we've made it this far. Even if I die in the planes, it's still a huge accomplishment. If I get past the planes, I'll be super, super duper happy. I'm actually going to celebrate that. But if not, it's fine. We've made it this far, and I'm happy with it. Let me grab these arrows for the small pesky guys, like this one. Okay, so I'm getting dangerously close to the planes here, because I know that there's a small patch. So right after this small gulf here. Dude, that's a two-star deer, and I kind of want that. I want some next two. Since I'm here in the meadows, let's just tear them down. Because who knows when else I will be able to be in the meadows. But yeah, now we have some armor cranked up. And I also what I also want is the Draugr Fang Bow. So we might do that in this episode. We might grab the Fang Bow and start exploring planes. That's my goal for this episode and I hope I can achieve it. It's not that much of a goal, but... So Draugr Fang Bow and the... And exploring planes. Now first I just need to check, oh wow, that's highly convenient, two, two, double two star deer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm low on the meat or anything, I am just have to take them because they're so pretty. Uh oh, that's even prettier for me. Okay, so this is where, where things are going to get interesting and I will have to be super, super careful. Just grab the mushrooms too because we kind of need every single resource that we can get our hands on. Now, what I suggest is um, you for you to clear any monsters that are nearby. And also, since we're going to go on the plains, we're going to stay on the edge. We're going to stay near the water. And honestly, I just... I don't want to be there. <laughs> I don't want to be there at all. But we do have to do this. This is the next biome. I'm totally underprepared for it. In case of anything, I'll just uh, I'll just grab my fen my Fenris armor and start running. Start running like crazy out of the danger zone. Cause that's an option too. That won't conclude the raid, but oh goodness, there's the planes. I know I've spotted I've spotted it from here. Oh, okay, mm. that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. Watch me have a wolf event as soon as I go near the planes. Watch, just watch. I know that's gonna happen at some point because we don't have any raids right now. Oh wow, <laughs> what's happening with this map? This is the third two-star deer. Another small modification that I need to do is, um, hold on, let me grab this. These guys are gonna blow my cover. Also, those guys are going to blow my cover. Okay, so we're close to planes. How do I do this? Oh, there's my first, first friend. This doesn't look that promising, to be honest. Hey, got one. Our first that's Skeeto. And that's our first feeling. Uh, feeling. Oh my god, goblin. Or feelings? I think they're called feelings. I'm gonna call them goblins. Okay, so this doesn't look that promising because there is a mountain near the right there. So it doesn't look like a big patch of 
planes, so we might give up on it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this because this is the planes. <laughs> and I don't like it because it's kind of small. Doesn't look that promising to me. Should I go inland a bit more? I haven't brought any resources in case things might go south from here. But that doesn't really look that much of a planes. I don't know if it extends a bit further. We can try that. So, like I said, that skittos are no problem. I do need to have the Draugr Fangbow before doing this. Okay, so we are in the plains. It's dangerous. I feel totally unsafe and unprepared. And that's a tar pit. Okay, that's that's dark forest there. So no, 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 no. We're not doing this. I'm not gonna risk it on the plains. With absolutely, for absolutely no reason at all. This is small. That's a mountain there. So this is a very small patch of plains. I can't. Do it. I don't need the resources in here. I don't need anything in here. I just need the progression in here. Okay, so uh, with that out of our <laughs> out of the way, now that I know that these planes is uh, is a no go, we can try and find another one, a better one, a larger one. But like I said, given that we are near, we might actually do that right now and uh, go for the dragger fang bow and settle ourselves in the planes. If I can get one of my small pocket, if I can get one of my small pockets. Then I'm, uh, I'm gonna be super super happy, because from there I can. Come on, really? Ooh, lots of feathers, because that's really important. I'll say I'm here for the feathers. Yeah, we can grab the board. We can grab everything since I'm running low on resources, and we're gonna have ooze bomb eating all of my resources up. Oh, so, uh, um, looking for planes. Looking for some more planes. Okay, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. No, out. Really? Having issues with the next now. So, so. Let's go that way. Because I haven't been this way. I'm running out of time here, but I'm just curious to see if I can st stumble upon any planes by accident. I don't want to have any raids right now. What do I need here? Okay. Luckily, I'm getting a ton of feathers like this. I'm gonna have to eat soon, as soon as the serpent stew goes beyond 15 minutes. Like I said, keep your food up at all times if you're playing hardcore. If you're doing the sick thing that I'm doing, then you need to be extra careful. So if a raid happens right here, oh, actually I, can, I should go for this because it improves my movement speed by a lot. Now I keep getting um, distracted by birds and this might cost me. Because let's go this way, that looks like black forest. Is there anything useful here? Also don't let your stamina bar, I'm gonna keep stressing these things out in every single episode. Don't let your stamina bar go beyond half. Oh, oh, wait, is that planes? Hold on. That looks like planes from here. But it also looks like I can. I need a boat to get there. Oh, there's definitely planes. And there's a swamp in a way. Hold on, let me get my bearings here, because it's kind of difficult. What was that jump? Jumping forever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we do have around seven minutes of daylight, so we need to get back home. Another Draugr village. Look at that. Sorry about the area's loading, so it's a bit laggy. Ooh, okay. So another Draugr Fang village, there's a swamp and there's planes, so these things are connected, fortunately. And that looks like a massive planes. 
if it stretches all the way down there from here now we can have a ton of uh, camps and stuff like that let's eat okay so we're quickly getting back to the base I'm gonna run for it and hopefully get everything ready get the drugger fung but I do have to go another trip on the mountain smelt some silver really quick the next day hope there's not a blizzard on the mountain because that would hinder my progress again okay so that's that's the plan we do have the planes there I might need to use the boat I don't know how I'm gonna cross there with the boat but it's fine we can do that without the boat too just need to have extra food on me I need 40 stone on me yeah the, the traders belt would have been amazing to have this to have it at this point but I don't have it I just couldn't find the trader on any islands and I did explore a ton of black forest now I'm I don't think I'm gonna go look around every single black forest because that's gonna be extremely extremely excruciating and boring and since it doesn't pop up on the map I do have to look for his field distortion every time Oh, like I said, I, I do need some extra boar. I could use that. I don't need a deer. Come on. Okay, so let's just quickly run back home and uh, figure things out from there. Right. Am I going the right direction? Hold on. I think so. First of all, the meadows. And I do want to stay a bit in the base just to have a raid started before going to the mountains. But it's fine, we do have a small little thingy there prepared on a mountain. I'm not gonna go for that boar. We're running out of rested buff, so it's kind of dangerous. We do still have around two or three minutes up until we get back home. So, no. The only disadvantage with this, it's kind of far away, so I might have to hire the boat to do this. I don't know if it's possible to have the boat, but we're gonna try it. Oh, that's a troll. Imagine looking at a troll and paying you know, <laughs> and totally ignoring it. Actually, that's what most players do anyway. That's what I should do with um, with the melee playthrough. I'm gonna totally ignore the trolls up until we get the Abyssal Razor. But yeah, I think it, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think I'm able to uh, get past the mother with the melee. Just because if she swings at me once, I'm a goner. Also, another downside of playing the melee is I can't hunt any serpents. Well, actually I can. I can drag them to the shore. Yeah, I can, I can grab them to the shore. With the Abyssal Harpoon. And we can spear them there. Now I just want to go re really quickly back to the base. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't miss this. <laughs> That's an opportunity of a lifetime. few more steps and we're there just trying to place to to uh, pay attention to all the sounds around me because we are near the mountain I don't want to get another event started or anything yeah this is I know the 10th the, the or 12th time I'm pressing M like I'm pressing M right now to look for the map and that's something that's not gonna happen Oh, 
Right, so uh, base, 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 base. Show me my base. Where is my base? Where is my safety? Where's my safe haven? So uh, I think the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do with portals. But that's not fair because you can slap a portal. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do portals anyway. That's not fair. You can just slap down a portal and in the middle of the raid and go back to your base. That's totally, totally unfair. And super duper easy. So of all the th ways I can enter my base, I'm doing this one. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Right, so let's just quickly repair everything, deposit everything, and first thing in the morning we're gonna go for the mountain and grab some more um, silver, because there's not enough silver for... Um, yeah, it's nowhere near enough. I don't need the round 40 more for the Draugr Fangbow. Let me just deposit these in here. Okay, we're kind of... I should have hunted more boar instead of deer. We can have these in here. It's fine. Okay. Now, where are the clone bears? Clone bears in here. Anything else food related? And grab the mushrooms in here. Okay, quickly, let me just stack everything up. I should have had them the other way around. I should have had... It doesn't matter. The meadows. Wow. <laughs> we have a ton of leather scraps, so that's, that's not my concern. The only concern that I have is the resin. I'm running all low on resin. Planes. First item from the planes. Look at that. Oh no, it's not. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> first item. First real item from the planes. Okay, I do need some extra arrows, some extra wooden arrows. So we're gonna go for this, and then we're gonna sleep on it and go to the mountain. First thing in the morning, we're just gonna grab some silver, be back here, smelt it, get the Draugr Fang bow, and head it f we're gonna head for the dreaded plains. I'm gonna have a test, right? The very first thing in the morning, we're gonna test something out. How much carry weight do I have on me with the 40 stone? Because I will need 40 stone on me at all times. So I create that small little pocket. Okay. Why would I say it like that? Pocket. Okay, 181, that's good. And this for the workbench. Okay, so we do have 100 e extra... Oh, that's fine, that's fine. We do have a 100 extra carry weight with us. Come on, event, please start. Please start so I can go on the mountain. Please, let me have an event. Now the events are not starting, which is a bit annoying. Again, do need the other cart. Where is it? Let's tear it down and hope for an event. And when you want an event to happen, it doesn't happen. Watch it happen when I get to the mountain, first thing. And I just hope I don't get the fuelings. Oh no, wait, I can't get the fuelings on the mountain. That's that's fortunate. So let me just drop the honey and we can go. I think we're well equipped to face any event at this point. Or any surprise. Oh, the onions are all ripe. Hmm. The onions are ripe, let's see. But I'm gonna go for the mountain. I do need to get some wood from here. I'm not gonna be so silly as to... Hold on. Okay, so... Um... Can I grab this as wood? Thank you! Just a bit more, just a bit more. Okay, we're set. We're all set. I don't know what's happening to my voice. I keep have to clear my voice. I just want to get back to that small little safety spot. Without having an event. If an event happens when I'm climbing, I'm just gonna pop the bone mass. Because that might totally happen. This game just hates me. Just This game just wants me dead. You can see that from a few episodes ago. I'm just trying to be super careful here. Come on, come on, a few seconds more. Oh no. Wait, wait, where'd you come from? This was super close. I know he can't kill me, but he would have chomped a good half of my health there. 
Okay. That was the worst shot you will ever see. There was a second worst shot. And a third one. What's happening with my bow? Thank you. Was that so hard? Okay, so we do have a little spot of safe haven here. What I want to do is quickly slap this down just to grab the card. Bam. There you're down. Because I've heard that those things attract raids. <laughs> so that's something I don't want right now. Okay, so off to get more silver we go. I'm just gonna be quiet. Because there are wolves around. Which is great news for me. I'm gonna track them. That's happening. Hold on, there are wolves around. They're gonna surprise me. Keep have to clearing my voice. I don't know what's going on with my voice this morning. I'm recording these in the morning. Because there's no way I'm gonna do this at night. When I'm tired. So it's better for me to have these early in the morning. So if there are, if there are more enemies nearby, and you can... Hold on. So if there are enemies nearby, you can hear them in your uh, headphones or <laughs> in your speakers. That means they are super close. That means they are dangerously close and they will come and investigate any source of sound like this one here. I am afraid of wolves. Never thought I would be afraid of wolves, but there it is. I am afraid of wolves. And it's all thanks to this game. I'm gonna have my camera zoomed out all the way. Just in case I need to see something. Okay, we're good. Almost have a stack. Please, 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 please. Let me have this one piece of happiness in my life <laughs> before getting to the planes and getting totally wrecked. Okay. Okay, no, 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 no. Like I said, like I said, there they are. Ooh, for one second I thought the event started without me actually noticing it. Oh god. Heart attacks, heart attacks. Thank you. Thank you, game. Okay, but if those were the two wolves... Hold on. My voice keeps failing me, but that's okay. Um, please. I've spotted that wolf in the last second there. We're still doing fine. We're doing relatively fine. Relatively. Okay. There's the devil. There's one. Right there. Flying one of that. Can one man just mine some silver in peace and quiet? I should have done this the last time I was here. What was it? There's a wolf. There's a wolf. There's a wolf. Where is it? Because it was super close. Like I heard him. That was super. It was super close. Come on, where are you? Oh, I can hear you in my headphones. Where are you? Oh, 
Oh, there you are. Got him. What's that there? Okay. Oh, I'm so panicky on the mountain. But now that we have that little thingy, I'm not that scared of wolves. But an event is bound to happen. It is super bound to happen. I'm just worried that the event might actually start on my way back to the base. That would suck. I'm just gonna dump this and move, oh, move on. If it so happens, let's eat. Okay, okay. We made it so far. Can I get back to the base, please? Please. Or just to the forest. I will feel a lot safer with a Draugr Fang bow. So yeah, the reason I didn't get that bow up until now is, like I said, this bow is way sneakier. So I'm gonna use this bow for sneak attacks. I'm gonna use the Draugr Fang bow for um, life-threatening situations, I guess. that Because it has more uh, damage output, so it might actually save us. Staggering the enemies. Oh, go away. No one cares about you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I mean to degree. Oh, we made it actually. Can't believe that we made it. Now, it's been so much time without an event that I'm actually worrying. So, we are bound to have an event. That's that's a must have. Pretty soon. Uh, it's fine, because now we'll have to spend a few seconds in the base. And that can actually... That can actually be good. Because if an event occurs while I'm in the base, I'm totally, totally happy with that. So like I said, this game is not at all difficult. I would smash it. I would smash the... Okay, I won't say any bad words, but I would smash the game if this was uh, if the events would be uh, turned off, right? So there. <laughs> Speaking of the events, <laughs> we no no no. <laughs> We're safe in here. You cannot calculate this. I've made sure that you can't calculate this thing. It's just bats, so they're not that dangerous. Okay, we're gonna wait out the event in here. And I'll catch you after the event is over. Right, so now that the cold room is calm... <laughs> I'm not, however. We can go and grab our silver. Silver, spend some quality time in the base. Why am I dodge rolling those? Come on. Hit me with your best shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're gonna, you're gonna go for it. There we go. Good. Let me grab everything in here. Oh. From here, actually. Ugh. I'm gonna have cards all over the place. Right. So what I want to do is obviously get this this thing going. No, we have no coal in there. Why would I have coal prepared? Just gonna, gonna, gonna. So right after we get our silver, we can have the Drugger Fangbo. We can upgrade it. And like I said, we can go for the planes. I would be super, super, totally happy with that. We can totally go for the planes. I brought some extra with me. Also, I have to make some preparations for the planes. Okay, let's get this going and we can have some nice, cozy, relaxing time in the base right now that the event... Actually, I want another event before going... for going out. I would grab my boat. I'm a bit reluctant to do that because I think that my boat is um, on the wrong side of the island because if I recall correctly, I was I was on my right. So the boat is on my left side of this island, and there is no passage for the boat. Oh, I might be wrong, but I saw no passage for the boat. And the planes are on the right side of the island, so I'm on the left side of the boat. 
I don't want to go too much around with the boat. Actually, we can have like this. Wow. Okay, so we are back to safety. Back to not being dead. I'm gonna have these in here, so any extras can go in there. Okay. Let's quickly repair, because I have a thing about repairing items. But yeah, luckily we have the Huntsman bow, so I'm gonna have the Huntsman and the... Actually, why am I keeping these for those for there? I should go like this. Where's my meads, meads, meads? Or I should go like this. Okay, you can go in here. I don't care right now about any symmetry. Rightfully so. So, so, so. Or these two. Yeah, so improving your lightning and torches is definitely the way to go. Because they don't eat that much resin. So, like, we can, while we're waiting for the smelting process to run its course, we can actually craft bile bombs here. Oh no, ooze bombs, right. Keep them bile bombs. We don't have them. <laughs> we don't have bile bombs. So leather scraps, ooze, and resin. How much ooze do I have? <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we're set for life here. Okay, so I think we're set for life. I don't have that much resin. I might need to go to the meadows to get resin. Imagine that, really? I don't do I need that much that many leather scraps. Ooze bombs. I'm gonna grab these because when I'm in my small little pocket, these are actually helping a lot. You can detonate them ahead of you. Ahead of enemies attacking, that is. Fortunately, they don't need that much resin, which is good. Now, question is, how heavy are these? 15. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Holding 15 extra weight for, uh, for their good effect, that is. Okay, so if anything happens, we're just gonna detonate one. We're gonna go in our small pockets, we're gonna detonate one. Okay, let me see what else do I need to do around the base. What am I running low on? I'm running low on magic mushrooms. Carrots are fine. Sorry if you're gonna hear any meowing, it's my cat in the background. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Right. So, um... I do need some extra boar meat. I'm kind of low on that, but I'm not going to go to the meadows just for that. Some turnips and carrots. Hold on, let's just plant those while we're, we're waiting here. So we're going to just do some cozy farming around the base. Sorry for that. But I've, I've heard that some of you actually like the cozy farming thing. So... <laughs> there, we're going to have some. We're totally gonna have some and some extra seeds. Okay, we can repair this at the same time. Getting closer to nighttime. I wish we can get the other batch, and the first thing in the morning we can craft the Draugr Fang bow and actually go for the planes. I don't want to rush things, because rushing things at this point might actually end up with me being dead. So I'm gonna carefully plan everything up ahead. We have the bombs now, we just need the bow. How much is 30 of these? Goodness. I need to expand my um, my farm here. This is the weirdest looking farm you'll ever see. But I'm gonna tell you something. It's the safest farm you're ever gonna see. <laughs> so, you can't get any safer than this. Unless you're gonna plant it underground, but these guys don't grow underground. Okay, we're good. Let me just repair this. So I've, the only thing, I, the only reason for me creating this is to keep the seekers out in case any seeker drops inside here, future in the future raids. Yeah, because the gyals and the thicks can only raid you in the mist lines, which is a good news, great news for me. At the same time, while I'm in the mist lands, if I'm in the mist lands, if I'm ever in the mist lands, fingers crossed, I'm gonna. Um, Hold on, I'm gonna lose my mind here. So if I'm ever in the maze lands, I'm gonna permanently be near a structure. I'm gonna have to explore super carefully in there. 
We're gonna be on the boat in case of anything, in case anything goes south. So we're gonna permanent, permanently be on the boat. We can do that. We can sail along the coastline, look for um, any structures or any dungeons. We can just go for the dungeons and then go back home. Or go back to safety. I need may, I may need an outpost around there somewhere. That might actually happen. Where's my silver? If it's in here. Oh my god, it's in here. Got scared there for a second. Because for some reason, the items in this game require not one ingot, but they require tens of ingots. That's totally not realistic, but hey, it's a game. I totally get it. Come on, where is it? Come on, good. Okay, now that we have that covered, we can grab the stone, take it back to the base, actually, and sleep on it. We can grab these in here. Since I'm grabbing stuff, I'm a grabber. That's that's weird, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, in the context of the game, I'm a grabber. I like to grab items, items. But yeah, now this thing just keeps me safe from bats, I guess, which are actually not doing that much. Also keeps me safe in case things go south in the base. At this point we can craft the Dragger Fang Bow. Ooh, should we do that now? Let's do that now. I don't know what I need for the Dragger Fang Bow, so let me just... Let me just look here. Where are my bows at? Okay, let me go slow, because I can't seem to spot them. I wish there was a different system instead of a list here. So just sections, you know, bows, go for bows. There's no bow here. Where? Why? Oh my god. Geographing. See? And they're also very small and you can't really spot them well. So, ancient bark, silver, gawk, and deer hide. Deer hide. No, we don't have that much gawk. Gawk. Oh, I like, I like that name. <laughs> I like the way they called it. So, silver. That's it, right? Was there not another was there another element? I don't think so. Ooh, we can craft a Dragger Fang bow. Oh, is this an improvement? Oh, the poison is actually Oh, we do need 30 silver. Like I said, so we don't have enough. What do I need for the last upgrade? All the elements and 30 silver. 15 fix 6 15 Hold on, let me grab these. Let me grab them now. Thankfully, thankfully we don't need that much gux, so we have it all here. And 30 silver. Yeah, we're, we are. We will be able to get this in the morning. So that's fine for now. Let me just get rid of these items. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly. Which one now? I think this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's sleep on it, and in the morning we're going to have our Draugr Fang Bow. Oh, what has my life come to? Being scared to go into the planes because of the raids. Nice. Super nice. Okay, let me grab the silver and get the bow and everything else and... Hold on. Oh, it's, we're fine. Actually, I kind of wanted another raid. Before going anywhere, but it's, it's okay. We can go for the planes. Whatever happens, we can go for the planes. We can grab the hoe. Actually, <laughs> I need to grab the hoe. That's a must-have. This is the only annoying thing here. That I need to do this. Every time. Okay, Draugr Fang, show me what you got. 56 with 20. Ooh, if we get another level. We can get... If we could get items to another level. See, this is another thing. On this difficulty, they should have allowed you to go another level. But then again, this only makes things easier, so we want them more difficult, not easier. That's 76 damage as opposed to 51. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. Whee! We're Draugr Fanging. Okay. I'm really low on silver, so that's concerning. I need to get more arrows. That's will, That will increase my carry weight. So let's actually prepare. Good, another event. Just back to back with the other one. 
So we can prepare for, uh, let me just prepare for the planes right now. Three, we're gonna have seven, we're gonna have all of the meads in there. Okay, so let me make sure here, let me actually be super, sh let me make sure that right after this event we can go. Meanwhile, I need to grab me some arrows, some food. Do I need, do I have the food? Because if I don't have the food, then I'm kind of a, it's kind of an issue here. I don't think I have the food, folks. Yeah, that doesn't look like I have the food prepared. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so some more preparations needed before going anywhere. So let's grab the arrows, the food, and everything else. A new batch of food. Okay, so let's let's start cooking here. I'm totally low on serpent meat. I'm gonna need to farm more serpent. Yeah, mushrooms and honey. Luckily for me, I have mushrooms and honey for days. Was it two honey for one? Hold on. Where is it? Yeah, two honey. Why do I keep messing these things up? Okay, what else for the ice cream? Um, uh, ice cream. Where I where do I scream? Ten. Ten freeze glands. And 30 Gridor's eyes. That's fine, we have a bunch of them. From all of our time spent in the forest. Okay, I have that covered. I'm also not need the wolf skewer. So wolf meat, mushroom and onion. Wolf meat, double mushroom was it? Hold on, let me... Was it double mushrooms? Yeah, double mushrooms. So that's eight. And twelve more. Okay. Also, I need some onions. Yeah, right. Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna start cooking and I'll be back with you when this is all finished. Right, we have everything prepared right now, so I think we are good to go. I'm not 100% sure, but we kind of look like we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous, uh, I'm sweaty, I'm gonna have the root armor, no, we're not gonna do that until we get to the planes. Okay, but now that we have an event, we had an event, I feel so much safer now. Problem is, problem is, what do I do if night night time catches me on the planes? What do I do then, folks? So it's a long trip all the way till there. I have no arrows. I have no arrows. I almost went there with no arrows. What am I doing? Okay. Yeah. So I'm only going to have frost arrows. Don't care about anything else. But let me drop these in here. We can replace these like this. Okay, let me grab frost arrows. Four batches of frost arrows with me. So that calls for four times three hundred and twenty wood. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna go with like this and see if I need anything else. I'll be back with you when I craft, after we craft the arrows. Okay, now that we got the arrows, I do think uh, the smart thing here would be to wait up until the morning. I'm gonna have all the arrows down here. Okay, we can have the bows up here, we can have the pick there. Ooh, we can have my nerves on the edge. And everything else. Oh god. <laughs> Can't believe we're doing this, we're gonna go to the place. Yeah, not very fond of that. 
And, you know, it's not like I'm scared for no reason. I'm scared for a very good reason. We might die there. Uh, so I want to postpone that moment as, <laughs> as much as possible. Golly. But that's gonna happen. I need do need to find my... I need to have my... Uh, I need to find my courage. Okay, let's go for it. If the night catches me on the planes, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally comfy there. Great, great comfort. You can find great comfort in the planes. <laughs> oh no, it's a long way up until there. So I should have... I think I should have... What I should do is go for the boat. Honestly, let me just grab the boat here. At least up until... Yeah, that's that's definitely faster. Grab the boat up until I get to the meadows. Yeah, this is definitely the best idea. Just go for the boat. The thing is with the walls event, I can't I can't even stand my ground and shoot them. Even if I'm one shotting them with a hundred archery, if I'm one shotting them, they're six. They're gonna be on my tail as soon as I start doing uh, as soon as I start shooting them. Storage, just some wood in there, which is great because I can use a base. Okay, so we have to go around this island a bit. Actually, I'm going to be right with you uh, when I get there to the meadows, because this is going to take me quite a while. Right, so here we are. Now, uh, the only thing I want to do, because we're getting super close to the night time, is quickly, quickly get over there and sleep, try and sleep over the night, I don't know. If that's possible, without getting a raid or something. Now, using frost arrows to destroy beehives. That's next level. Okay, so what I want to do... Let's actually... I want to grab this too. Hopefully I don't get any raids over the night time. Small campfire here. I don't want raids, I don't want raids, I don't want raids. Sleep fast, please sleep. Yeah, there's there's something heavy on my chest. I'm super scared. going on there ah, okay some skeletons are fighting off the evil they're cleansing so 35 rocks uh, I need my rocks back need 40 rocks eventually I will need the workbench I'm gonna try and make this no don't make me waste more arrows on you So, wait a second. Okay, so I need a small little outpost. That's a must-have. I need a small little outpost here. And I also need this. I need the root armor. Okay, so this is planes. No, that is planes right there. Oh, how do I do this? Can I have my outpost right there? Because that would be super useful. I'm sorry, guys. I'll have to turn down the SSAO. Otherwise, I might die. I can't see anything. These guys are fighting over there already. Oh, 
Oh, there's a lock that's aggroed. This is bad. This is very bad. Can I have my outpost here? Is this a bit safer? It's just a small meadows patch. Can I get here? Without aggroing the entire universe? This is already swamp territory. I don't like it. No, this is far too close to for my comfort. That was a death mosquito right here. There's another one right there. No, we're not doing this. Nope. So I do need my octopus right here. That's a patch of planes, so that's a no-go too. Okay. Right here? Is this good? I don't know. I forgot to bring my hoe. The most important thing, and I forgot to bring it with me. So I need to go and craft a hoe. Rightful. Good, good, good. That was amazing. Amazing thinking on my behalf. Just quickly get to this house and grab a hoe. I also need some stone to get the fire rested bonus, some extra stone. But I'm gonna kidding getting kinda bulky here. No nine. How do I get some extra stone without dying? So no. Okay, let me just see here. Um, workbench first. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's one, two, three, four, five. And for the last one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is what I was talking about, my small pockets. Unfortunately, they're not easy to access. So we need to take care of that. Oh, I need to have another... Um, wait. I need some more rocks. Cause I, if, can I jump these? Oh yeah, no wait, I can jump these. But I still don't feel safe <laughs> around it. So I need these items, I need these spots where I can uh, jump in case that anything goes south. And things will go south, trust me on that. So let me just farm some more rocks. And start working on the walls, because I need walls around this. I need a small little area where I can uh, peacefully retreat to and get my rested buff and stuff like that. So I'm going to farm as many rocks as I can. I'm going to have a campfire soon to get a rested buff. It's 50. Luckily with these rocks here, because otherwise I would have needed to go back home. Okay, that's another 50. I need to have another re a, another small outpost here, surrounded by walls, because otherwise I will never feel safe in the plains. Because I need to get the rest of the bonus somehow. 
Where would I get that? I can't do that on the planes. Due to the raid. Now if a raid should occur, I'm gonna just jump in there. Those places are raid-proof. I've tested them out, and if I die, I'm gonna die on my own accord and my own, by my own hand. With my own ideas. Right. Oh, is that enough? That's nowhere near enough. I'm gonna grab these here. Okay, these are enough for one wall, but I can't... I can't do anything with one wall. So an outpost here is mandatory also. I need to clear that area with the... With this area I need to clear. Actually, no. They might fight off those. So it's good. Now, I just need to grab my wood back. Have a workbench here, which will start to track raids. Um, no, please stop, stop, stop this. I don't need this right now. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we don't have enough stone. Okay. We can go one more. I'm only going to go five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to be back with you when this is uh, this is over. Right, so I'm back. <laughs> this is how things turned out to be. I had no raid so far. So uh, this took me quite a lot, a lot of time, <laughs> obviously. And we're getting close to nighttime. Now I need to farm some wood to have a small little base here. We're gonna have our, our workbench here. I'm gonna go grab my forge, grab all the items. Actually, we can do this. We can, we can have a small outpost here. Which will make things uh, so, so, so much easier for me. So I think this is the way to do it. So I'm gonna craft a small outpost here. And we'll go from there. For Unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, get into the planes as I thought in this episode. But uh, next episode will definitely be there, so... Uh Yikes for more adventures, but the most important thing for me is that I've managed to have this small outpost here and This wall is not high enough. It's not tall enough Hold on <laughs> Because now and now I can actually I can actually say like I feel uh, That I feel safe And even if probably I'm not but I'm not scared of raids enough right now because we do have this small little outpost. I'm gonna have some um, ladders here so we can quickly climb in here. I'm gonna keep that safe room at all times. We're gonna keep it here. We can just jump in there. I'm gonna have a small house down here or just here in the middle. I will see on top of this maybe. But yeah. This was the episode, so uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode when we are actually gonna explore planes. So much preparation, but uh, yeah, had to be done. So I'll catch you in the next one, thank you all, bye bye.